Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. We basically planted our Swiss chard here back in our system uh, about six days ago. And you can see right here, this is when I was planting it in, in the ebb and flow kit here that we built together. It's a nice miniature system that we put together. It was super easy and, and fun to do. So you see the plant is doing really well. It's basically put on uh, two or three new leaves since I planted it. And it's looking nice and healthy. And it's really liking the system here, I think, uh, in my opinion. And the leaves are getting nice and large, and it's basically at the, at the stage where you can harvest the leaves if you wanted to. Being that they're nice and young, it would have a nice, beautiful, like, crisp flavor. Uh, the longer you wait, the more, you know, the more um, bitter it's gonna have, it's gonna taste, but either way, it still tastes good in my opinion. I'm gonna wait till it gets a little bit larger, this way I have more than just two leaves to, to eat at once. You know, actually get an actual meal out of it. And you can see right there, the third one in the middle is beginning to grow. And the leaves, it's just absolutely beautiful, this plant to me, like how the, the veins are going through the leaf and I'm really excited to actually plant out some new ones. So you see over here, we got a bunch of new seedlings that have germinated. We have some pinks and some reds that have sprouted so far. And I planted a bunch of seeds in, in each rock wool cube, like maybe four to five seeds. And I'm hoping to get some other colors. They could grow in purple and orange and greens. So you have a whole yellows. You have a whole array of colors that it could grow. And the root system reflects the same color as the plant. So that's really interesting for me. And you see over here, I'm showing you guys a nice, beautiful close-up of the plant. So I'm basically just going to pull it out. It's being grown in a, in a rock wool cube here. And I think at the root system, it's already growing at the bottom. So let's just double check here. And you see right there, yeah, so definitely the root system is already at that point where it's coming out. So I think it's ready to be transplanted into its hydroponic system here. And like I mentioned earlier, we're going to grow it in an ebb and flow kit system. And this was a little miniature ebb and flow kit that I put together. It was really simple and easy to do. And you guys can watch an episode if you want about how we did that earlier. Or I'll post a link in the description down below actually. And all I gotta do is just basically wash off some of this cocoa core that's on top to get it nice and clean. You don't want to get any of these small little, you know, particles back in your system. You could get it everything, your whole system clogged up. And that would cause more problems than, than you need. So you see right here, we basically have three cubes and each one has, has about two to three plants in, in each one. And I got some pinks and some reds, it looks absolutely beautiful. And each one has the root system growing at the bottom. So I'm going to get everything nice and clean and washed up first before we do anything. So now that everything is clean, it's basically ready to be uh, transplanted into the system here. So it's really simple to do. All I really got to do is just find a spot and whatever, wherever I want really. And I have the system running right now. This way the water level is nice and high and it's easy to plant. And I'm just going to put them all right next to each other since I think they're going to be able to grow nice and compact together. And what I'm going to do is just basically lift it up a little bit higher so it's not too submerged and the roots don't get completely drowned out. And I'll try to cover up my, the best way I can the tops of the, the rock wool cubes here. Uh, if, if, you, if you don't cover it, being that there's um, hydroponic fertilizer in the system, it's definitely going to begin to grow algae from the lights as well. And it's kind of the perfect environment for algae to grow right now. So I'm going to wait as the plants are getting bigger. I'm going to, you know, keep packing it in and cover it up and get everything nice and um, covered up so nothing is exposed. And you see it's all planted in. So it looks nice and small right now. This is basically day one of planting in the system here. And we're going to be back soon, guys. I'll show you just how everything grows and how things are looking. So if you like the episode, please hit that thumbs up. We'll be back soon. For